All right, here's how you solve those gear ratios for the gear system with idler gear. Uh, let's say you have three gears, like the example we have in class, that uh, first system, but you have a, a 36 tooth driven gear, a 60 tooth in the middle or idler gear, and a 36 tooth driven. So it goes driver, idler, driven. All right, um, how do you solve the system? Let's watch. Okay. Oh, thought I'd be the race. Oh well. All right, so it goes, here's my driver, here's my driven. But I have two systems to look at. I have driver driven, then I have driver driven. So two systems. Here's the first system. So driven is that 60 tooth idler. Driver is that 36 tooth guy. The next one goes driver driven. So now it goes a 36 tooth driven gear over a 60 tooth driver gear. Then what would you do in math class to simplify these fractions? Well, 36 goes into 36 one time, and 60 goes into 60 one time. So I'm left with a 1 over 1, 1 over 1. This is a 1 to 1 gear ratio. So you got to multiply them together. So it's this geared system multiplied by this gear system. Well, one times one is one, and one times one is one. It's a one-to-one -one system. You sure it doesn't erase? Ah. All right, another example. Let's say we had um, a small gear, a gigantic gear, and kind of a medium gear. Let's say this was a 10 tooth gear. This is like a 175 tooth gear. And how about a 54 tooth gear? Solve it. Well, if that's my driver, here's my driven. So you got a driver, idler gear, driven gear. Again, two separate systems to figure out. First one is going to be driven over driver. 175 over 10. This kind of gets um, multiplied by the next system. First system, second system. This would be 54 over 175. What do we do? Well, this divides into that one time. I'm kind of left with 54 over 10. This could be reduced to where 10 goes into 10 one time, 10 goes into 54 5.4 times, right? So I would have, ah, it's pretty bothering me, not erasing. So I have a 5.4 over 1, which equals to that 5.4 to 1 gear ratio, which means every 5.4 turns of the driver, I'll get one turn of the driven. So if I do 5.4 spins here, I'll get one here, which makes sense because you need this number to equal this number. So 10 times 5.4 is 54. So again, it's two separate systems. That's how you solve gear ratios for the idler systems.